Welcome back to CBS This Morning. A surge in mysterious deaths at one of the largest military bases in the country is getting new attention. In one high-profile case we've been following, 20-year-old specialist Vanessa Guillen was murdered in April. At least nine soldiers have been found dead since March at Fort Hood in Texas. In more than half of those cases, foul play has not been ruled out. Mireya Villarreal has been looking at the concerns about Fort Hood. Mireya, good morning. Well, good morning. Yes, Vanessa Guillen's case shined a light on the issues at Fort Hood. Her body was just released to the family earlier this week, nearly four months after her disappearance. And there was a delay because the FBI has taken over this case. They're taking a fresh look at the evidence as well as the issues happening on base. You know, at this point, um, you know, I just can't be sad all day. Um, we have to keep going. Nearly four months after her disappearance and murder, Vanessa Guillen's family is still fighting. I think this week is going to be the hardest week because we're going to be with her, not the way that we want to be. But, you know, at least we're going to give her proper respects and that way she could rest in peace finally after this long journey. Guillen's murder garnered the nation's and President Trump's attention, giving the family an opportunity to visit the White House. They pushed for outside investigators instead of the Army's Criminal Investigation Division, or CID, to take over the case. We didn't want to have this swept under the rug, which could happen. Why was it so important for the FBI to take over this investigation? Mostly because CID, um, we lost trust with them since, you know, a couple of days after the investigation. You know, a lot of details were left out. They didn't want to share any type of information. I just felt that, you know, that they, they weren't capable of doing the investigation. The Fort Hood military base in Colleen, Texas, is now under intense scrutiny with several high-level investigations being conducted that focus on systematic problems. Since March, at least nine soldiers from the base have been found dead. Last Saturday, local police arrested two soldiers for their alleged involvement in a sex trafficking scheme. Just last week, Army Secretary Ryan McCarthy announced an independent group of investigators would be searching for the root causes associated with the rise of serious crimes involving Fort Hood soldiers. The numbers are high here. They are the highest in most cases for sexual assault and harassment and murders for our entire formation, the U.S. Army. We're going to put every resource and all of the energy we can to this entire institution behind fixing these problems. On 22 April, Vanessa Guillen... The Army Guillen recently Guillen confirmed Guillen Major General Guillen Scott Efland, commander of Fort Hood, would have to wait on his transfer and promotion to Fort Bliss while investigations are underway. And answers can't come soon enough for the families who sacrificed so much. While searching for Vanessa Guillen, investigators found the remains of Gregory Weddle Morales near the base, 10 months after he disappeared and was classified as AWOL. I have a closure of where he is now, but there's still the questions of what happened. It's quite alarming to see what's happening at Fort Hood. I think U.S. Army veteran Melissa Bryant was once stationed at the base. I imagine this is how Vanessa Guillen felt when she was sucked. She's now pushing for Congress to pass legislation that would make reporting easier for members of the military and potentially take the investigation of sexual assault and harassment cases out of the Army's chain of command. This movement has been galvanized because we know that we can and must do better right now. A sentiment shared by the Guillen family. Do you still feel like your sister's murder is not being taken seriously? They finally acknowledged that it was a murder and that there's a big problem. Um, I do feel that day by day um, they are taking this more serious because they're seeing that it's not just us at this point. It's one too many stories coming out and I shouldn't be glad about it, but at the same time it points out that there's some type of problem and we have to find out what it is. This mural here in Fort Worth was created by local artists that were pushing for justice in Vanessa Guillen's case. There are dozens of them around the country. We know right now there will be a public memorial for Vanessa at her high school in Houston on Friday afternoon, a private service for family and friends on Saturday, and the Army has committed to making sure they will release the findings of their investigation to the public and Congress as soon as they have them. Vlad? Excellent reporting there, Maria. Thank you very much.